Here we go. We've colonized that one planet, uh, asteroid field, and got on the first ruin. This ruin gave us level 3 and cannons and level 2 in range enhancement, so artillery mounts. And uh, nothing else. Oh, interesting. Well, I guess it would have been nice a couple of turns ago, but I'll take it now as well. Now that we finished building our invasion fleet, here that is. I'm guessing the next ships we're gonna build are going to be yet mass drive here. Maybe should play around with building uh, a medium warship that can take a, a that can take advantage of these artillery mounts as well. Anything else happen? Uh, no, we are already already in the all events view. So, is it just me or is this is this going further to the right every time? Right button? Oh, wait, what? Now the sign is above the planet again, and it's f over here. Wait, could it be? Could it be that they are aligned after whatever the uh, host sees? Like like this, it would be roughly on top of it, and well, I guess since this is on top of it by default, this doesn't look like it's on the right or left. I don't know. There's a weird thing if the host has a different view and um, he processes the turn and sends the turn out to the players and you load it then the other players are also going to be in the same view as the host which means if uh, Ed would play the game in this view or something else instead of just the default view like how I play it uh, then I would start every turn like that as well and uh, I would <laughs> need to reset the view every turn which is slightly annoying and sometimes there were games where I had to do that because the host wasn't using the default view and they were doing top down or something uh, well top down has the obvious disadvantage that you can't see if you have a locked view anyway the edges of the system uh, but like this chair remain for me so okay we've discovered the system there's one more warp point there let's go through it uh, gas planet rock planets no asteroid fields for us going to discover what's behind there well where is our enemy most likely going to be just map wise i would say that we're going to send the fleet down here because there's more space but there's two warp points here and there's just one here then again, I guess it's relatively unlikely that this one is going to be a dead end. Whereas I could easily see one of these being a dead end. Yeah, we're going to send the fleet here then. You have all packed your th stuff. Actually, did we manage here? Yeah, we managed to build two ships. That one is going to stay here or got a war point or something. And this is going to be a l invasion fleet. With backspace to clear all the orders, not I think they had any. And let's actually make it a fleet. Uh, one of the little things I do with my fleets, I usually create four task force because in the default uh, order in which they uh, enter battle, the three task forces are in front, the first three, and then the fourth one is behind, so any support ships I usually put in the fourth one. Uh, but for now, while we're traveling, let us. Um, Put this at the center and all the other ones in here. And uh, I don't know, let's set these to escorts, I guess. Usually don't bother with setting all the all ships to escorts, especially if there's more ships and fleets. And actually let's set one of the others to a TF leader. And set the strategy to enter ship 20. I know they have an optimal range of 40 or 80 even. We might want to get closer with these torpedoes so all ships get in, can get in range. And that way at least these core ships should remain in uh, a little bit covered by these other warships. There's only this ship that actually has point defense on it. Which is a little worrying. But uh, oh well, I guess that's what we've built now. Can these auto cannons shoot? Yeah, these auto cannons can also shoot fighters and seekers even. Although the, specif the special uh, PD auto cannons shoot three times as fast and obviously going to be much better at the job. Oh well, this is what we have. Uh, this is our invasion fleet. Could even rename it. Uh, monstrous Trolls. Monstrous Invasion Fleet. 
that's spelled correctly. I'm not sure. And let's go here for now. So, now we're faced with the question of what else are we going to build on our home world. I think we want to see to a little bit of the fence on our own. Which means we probably want better sensors at some point after all. And we are probably going to want some more warships to put on this warp point here and uh, on this warp point here or on this warp point here depending on how far we go bef before we encounter other ships. Hmm. Oh yeah, and we obviously have to start building something here. How about, since you're out one sector from where I expect the enemy to be, well, nothing, nothing says that he can't be behind those as well, but... Well, uh, whatever, we'll see. Mm, how about you just build a few fighters first? You can build five fighters in a turn, then you'll, it'll actually be 0.2 because it's 33 and 30 and 150 construction rate. But they're pretty much going to finish, and then we can start building a light shipyard so we can start filling up the relatively massive 50 kilotons of space on this planet. Wow. Well, asteroid belt. I'm guessing asteroid belts have just doubled the, uh, the double the facility space that planets have. But it seems to me that planets are more frequent than asteroid belts. There's two rocks, I guess. No ice. Well, right, there aren't any ice planets in this game. <laughs> in this much. In fact, the game is called Ice Planets Are the Worst. So, well, I guess I haven't really m found enough systems to make an educated uh, I guess about whether gas and rock plants are really n more numerous than asteroid planets and whether they're actually going to have uh, the same facility slots as in vanilla or if they're double two. Oh well. Yeah, you are going to be, I don't know what you're going to be. Going to be a construction yard for the moment, anyway. Oh yeah, this didn't stick either. You were going to be a mining colony, a general resource extraction, whenever that is done. You should be finished with your first uh, light ship yard. Yeah, next turn, and then that'll build. And we don't have anything else to do but queue up more defensive ships. Hmm. Let's build a few more of these scouts to sit on our warp points for now. And then we probably want um, one of these warships without the expensive reactor that we need to have it uh, to have it be able to fly all the time without restopping for refueling. If we just want a ship that goes 15 tiles and then stops there for basically ever, we don't need a reactor on them. Or even solar sails probably. We can make a different one for that. These are going to most likely finish. These are definitely going to finish this turn, so we should actually design the chip now. A defense ship. Let's take um, this as a design type, uh, this as a base. Uh, yeah, we should also remove the armor. We can put medium armor and stuff now. <laughs> Remove clickiness. Use medium armor. Let's just put on two plates for the moment. And well, yeah, remove one of the guns, whatever. Or torpedoes. And what are we going to use? I think we're going to use medium thrusters. How many do we need? Four times seventy thrust still does not give us a move point. No, we need 6 times 70 thrust. So, yeah, right, 400, 400 thrust, that's what it was, and this gives us 420. Uh, let's do this, and a small reactor, well, that's what we had before. No, excuse me. I don't, don't actually have push to talk or anything set up for the, uh, for the recording. Just records the entire input. There's a little bit of static background noise as well. Which I put could probably edit out if I had some fancy mechanism for that, but I don't. So, what 
does actually all the uh, cost in organics come from? I guess it just stacks up with all the different units. Yeah, cool quarters cost a lot of it. This, uh, this adds 250 cost. Hmm. Or we could just make it run on fuel storage. Um, no, I would definitely want plus one speed on the ship. A two speed ship. Hmm. For war point defense, yeah. If we want, we want probably something faster to defend. Something that can catch scouts and other small ships. Maybe we should try and go for a smaller ship design. What do you think? Well, I think that might be a good idea. That's why I'm doing it. But again, let's use a battle bridge. Because we want to go to war with this thing. Or we want to have it fight defensively in a little war. Right, we can have three thrusters in here. Oh, wait. They only give us two speed. Oh yeah, because 210 uh, thrust gives us two speed. Okay. They are going to require 60, uh, 120 supplies a turn. Which means if we wanna go something like 20 tiles, uh, we wanna have 2.5k about of supply in there. Hmm. And that is actually a good amount of fuel. I don't really want to put that much fuel in these things. Oh. Better mounted weapons are going to be too big, yeah? Mm, maybe not. Oh, artillery mounted, I mean. Artillery mounted weapons have the advantage that they hit pretty good. They might be useful against fighters at shorter ranges. Maybe not quite as efficient as uh, weapons that are reduced in size. But anywhere on these uh, smaller ranges, I can't see them hitting fighters. And they even have the chance of hitting ships at longer ranges, I guess. Hmm. What should we do? Should we use this? Make sure we have the level 2 mount here as well. Does this give us... I'm not sure what this gives us. Maybe plus 50 instead of plus 40 accuracy? What do auto cannons look like? Battery auto cannons uh, still with five some damage. Let's use let's use those because they can also be used against point defense, and we can only use one of them. Oh well, they can also be used against point defense. They're gonna be used against fighters. Mm. Do we want a radar dish? Probably not needed if they're standing right on top of uh, war points. But if they need to chase anything, not having a radar dish is going to be crippling for them. Mm, let's put on a stealth coating because they don't really cost anything. Or they don't cost as much of anything. Ah yeah, the fuel situation on this thing. Using 120 fuel per tile. We are definitely going to uh, have to put in one fuel tank at the very least. Uh, but after that I think we're going to use a fuel chip to bring them to where they need to go. Like this, they can stay very cheap and uh, bring their gun to bear on whatever unsuspecting victims may come along. Is this going to be sufficient? Yeah, this is going to require 6 point something in the way of ammunition per second. And uh, yeah, this should be enough. Oh wait, we still need to put crew in. Forgot about that again. Uh, might be a little low on actual ammunition then. Yeah, like this we have to uh, take out the uh, armor in order to make this fit. And then we still have uh, not enough ammunition for me to be happy. Uh, I guess we have to use a smaller weapon after all. The mass driver is uh, quite a bit smaller. Yeah. Does this use less crew? No, it doesn't. And uh, guess what? Mass drivers, well they have enough for 5 shots in there, and 5 shots take 15 seconds to fire. 
And this is another, what, 12 shots? Which take another 60 seconds to fire, and if this thing fires uh, for 75 seconds and isn't dead yet, then... Well, it's done its job well. Is there anything else we can do with 4 kilotons? Alright, oh small armors. Yeah. I guess this is going to be our defense ship for the moment. We could also use these gunboats, we should also do a little uh, design study on that. Guard base? Guard base is going to be strategy. In case there's a base somewhere. No, maybe it should be anti ship. It should probably be anti ship 40. And the design type can also be attacker 40. Actually, it shouldn't be attacker, it should be guardian or something. Because you are not, you don't have a reactor. You're not supposed to fly anywhere on your own. Let's give it a random last nice name. Mm, you are. I have no idea what that is. You are unwell, is what you are. Unwell, unsound, and unhealthy. Hm. This was the other small ship. We didn't have any other small warships. No, no, I don't think we did. And let's look at our gunboat. So how does this uh, measure up? Alright, oh it has the bombardment mounted uh, torpedo. So these things are probably going to be quite useful against capital ships coming through anywhere. Hmm. Question. How much thrust do they actually need to move one tile? Like this there's a 140 move. What if we put in a solar sail and had a 170 move? Yeah, they probably would just require 50. I wouldn't be surprised if they require one thrust for each kiloton hull tonnage. That would make sense, right? If you just said uh, you need one thrust to move one kiloton of ship, then uh, you don't need to uh, write down the formulas for every ship or the amounts. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So. We probably don't actually need these to be 3 speed. But I would like to have them at least 2 speed. Uh, with the engine situation, I'm not sure if these things are going to be very efficient. They still have the advantage in that they can use the bombardment mounts. Let's wait a little bit until we build gunboats in mass, uh, until we have the orbital, the orbital technology thingy industry. And that'll give us the uh, base to launch them. And probably bigger ships that can actually fit hangars. So let's build a few of these defense ships and then we need to design the supply ships that brings them where I need to go. Yeah. These. Maybe I shouldn't have picked a random design name file. <laughs> oh no, not even these. Maybe I should have uh, decided to give these ships real names and call them Defender, Attacker or whatever. Or something that is more uh, memorable. Okay, we want a freighter for supplies. Uh, oh, why do we? Can a freighter actually? Can a freighter actually uh, do that? Uh, it needs cargo base, base docks, construction repair. But I don't think it counts reactors or fuel tanks under this category. If we put eight fuel tanks in here, no. I guess it has to be a medium ship, so just full with an extra reactor. Fine. Do we want to copy you? No, we probably want a reactor ship for that. Not a sail ship. Only has to move two speed, I guess that's an advantage. So what if we rip out all your guns and armor? There's nothing on the others here. No. And move half your sails. And put in reactors. It's going to be an expensive ship, in case you didn't know. Da -da. <laughs> yeah, okay, three reactors won't fit because the ship only has 400 space. 
Oh, like this will actually move four moves, it's not really needed. Would it be cheaper if we used two large chemicals? 2.4k in organics versus 2.5k in uh, radioactives and three speed instead of two speed because this only have a, has a bonus of one. I think this setup wins. We need extra crew. Doop. Can we get away? No, we, we still need two control centers for these apparently. No, well, whatever. Let's, oh, wait, we can't put the money inside. Let's put it there. And this makes 300, or almost 600 supplies a turn, and this requires much less to fly. 20 per tile, which means 60. Yeah, that's, that's negligible. If we really wanted to, we might be able to make a ship that can move 4 tiles. And that's not enough, and we don't have another 400 thrust in that. Oh well. That's not our goal here. So, let's put on a few extra fuel tanks. Mm. Let's put on extra magazines. Are these more efficient? Quite a bit, actually. Too bad. If we just had 10 kilotons more space, we could put on a heavy magazine. Let's put on some magazines so we can use the ship to restock uh, things that are out of fuel. Uh, out of ammunition, rather. And these things store enough fuel as it is. Yes, mm, I think this will be good. You are going to be um, hmm, water qualm. I have no idea what that is either. Your strategy is going to be run screaming like a girl. Uh, we already gave your name. Your design type is going to be some kind of support ship, a tanker. Yes, that is exactly what you are. Very nice. You are going to be expensive. Uh, but we can make do with that. Like this, I think we'll be fine on construction for the next couple turns. Is there anything else we need to do? No, I don't think so. Our other colonies just found it and building their initial yards for the most part. Research is still a little bit off. I guess that's it. The resource situation is still fine. A little bit in the minus there, but with the storage that we have, it's completely negligible. Well, that's it. 